Hey everyone, doing a quick troubleshoot. I've got a Pit Boss tailgate pellet smoker. And what's been happening with it is the, um, the uh, it's been tripping a GFCI in our house. It didn't do this initially. Um, I saw things online that said it could be the, um, it could be the uh, igniter. So uh, to figure that out, what I did was uh, I tried to eliminate the, the, the problem from the circuit. And nine times out of 10, when you have GFCIs and stuff tripping, it's usually the heating element. I always start at, at a heating element with those, in those situations. So, but how do you know for sure? Quick and easy way to know. If you have any pellet smoker, you find out what wires connect to the heating element inside the, inside the smoker. And then what you do, I'm going to bring you down here. Here's what I did. That purple and white wire is your heating element, or the wires that power your heating element right here. So what I did, what was happening is it would run for about five minutes and then shut off. And it would trip the element or trip the GFCI. So what I did was I eliminated that ele that thing from the circuit. So I just disconnected it and fired it up to see if it would trip. Well, it's been on for about five minutes and it hasn't tripped. So that generally tells me that that's what the problem was. So I'm gonna, I went on Amazon, I bought one of these heating elements. I'm gonna replace it. And that should uh, fix the problem. Um, because other the only other things it could be the motor that feeds the pellets but that's not jamming up or and it's feeding the pellets fine so i'm going to vacuum all that out clean all that out um and uh or it could be the fan the fan doesn't draw very much amperage usually what draws the most amperage is that heater so um, just a little video to help people out if uh you have if you're having problems with your pellet smoker tripping um, start with the heating element thanks